Hello again, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Business. The Ministry of, Educa of Energy has directed the Petroleum Commission to evaluate opportunities and risks the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement could present to the upstream petroleum sector. The Free Trade Agreement is expected to come into force by the middle of next year and Ghana is hosting the Secretariat, addressing the 6th Local Content Conference and Exhibition in Takwadi. Deputy Energy Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam said enforcing local content requirements within a free trade area should be a matter of concern. Various players uh, within the upstream petroleum sector have gathered here in Takwadi for the 6th Local Content Conference and Exhibition, which is scrutinizing the progress made so far with the implementation of local content policies. Now, it has become especially important because next year we'll see the implementation of the Continental Free Trade Agreement, and that could also pose some challenges. While well, addressing the opening of the conference, um, the Deputy Minister of Energy, uh, Mohamed Amin Adam, called for an assessment of the opportunities and the risks presented by the implementation of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. Countries with local content initiatives aimed at accelerating the capacity of their people and businesses have greater opportunity to access the bigger regional continental market. On this note, let me take the opportunity to direct the Petroleum Commission to begin to evaluate the opportunities and threats the Africa Continental Free Trade Area presents to Ghana's local content implementation. Meanwhile, the Petroleum Commission has announced tough sanctions for indigenous firms found fronting for foreigners. Acting CEO Egbert Fable made the announcement today. The era of fronting is about to end. Beginning next year, the Commission, working with other state actors, including the Registrar General's Department and the Ghana Revenue Authority, will begin the enforcement of the relevant laws, including tax assessments on the basis of one's equity participation and hence profit sharing, revocation of operating permits and non-issuance of permits to indigenous Ghanaian companies and their partners who are proven after thorough investigations to have engaged in fronting. Let me therefore use this opportunity to advise all those engaged in fronting to put a stop to it immediately. About 60 companies are participating in this year's local content conference and exhibition, and the conference is hosting uh, participants from countries like Brazil, Mozambique, Nigeria, and Trinidad and Tobago. Daryl Kwao, Joy Business, Takrade. One of Ghana's leading mattress producing companies, Latex Foam Mattress, has donated an amount of mattresses to the 94-year group of Wesley Girls Senior High School for onward presentation to the Anchor 4 Hospital in Cape Coast. Speaking to Joy Business at the Latex Foam Head Office at the North Industrial Area in Accra, PRO of the company stated that health and education remain priority areas for the corporate social responsibility activities and the request from the group could not be ignored. According to the PRO of Latex from Ghana, Giftiapia, the donation of 20 student-sized mattresses to the year group comes at a cost of 12,000 Ghana cities. Actually proposing to us the need to look at Ankafu as um, uh, a mental health institution that was highly deprived of uh, so many things. So basically, they had various needs. They are looking to refurbish the full facility as um, a year group. That would be their way of giving back to society. And they thought um, they would surely need mattresses for the bedding of the wards. And so they came to us uh, asking if we would like to partner them in that regard. And of course, for latex foam, since our CSR activities normally would bother on education, health, sports, and the likes, we thought uh, this is a worthy cause, and why not? Um, there's a lot of deficit nationwide regarding our, our mental, our health institutions, and so we thought this would be a good opportunity for us to also contribute our quota, like we've done every year. We're giving out uh, 20 pieces of me uh, medium-sized leather-covered mattresses to the hospital, and it's valued at about 12,000 Ghana cities. The leader of the 94-year group of Wesley Girls Senior High School, Anita Ketekou, Akutu received the items on behalf of Ankafo Hospital. She said they realized the hospital is in dire need of resources. They therefore decided to come to their aid to make health delivery more convenient for the public. We wanted to do something that went beyond Wesley Girls and further into the community. 
So after lots of discussion, we decided on Ankafil Psychiatric Hospital, which is just 10 minutes from Wesley Girls High School, and which we've all known about for all the years we were there, but actually never had any interactions or direct knowledge of the, the place. So we visited the hospital, we looked around, we had access to the female ward, we got to see some of the patients and some of the staff, and we were really moved by their stories and their situation. And therefore, as a year group, we decided collectively to raise funds to renovate the entire ward, from the roof to the bathrooms to the kitchens and, and the beds and mattresses. So to that end, we approached Latex Home. We have no direct relationship with Latex Home. We just came to them with this cause on our hearts. And they were incredibly receptive, very generous, very kind. Fred Duho's report for Joy Business. In business for now, back to Daniel.